What's going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be taking a look at dot os for our devices yes i said devices because this rom is actually available for most of the devices that i know except for samsung but what actually makes this rom special when compared to the another containers such as pixel experience resurrection remix or another major rom such as cosmic and moon os well as the matter with the custom roms they need customization in order to call custom roms and resurrection remix has a ton of them same as moon os cosmic os and then again all other things that you have such as nitrogen os but they just look plain they are stock android roms with tons of customizations which end up being buggy after one to two months of continuous usage but what's so special about this rom is it has most of the special things that you like a newer fresher ui and all of the developers are indian i don't know why but it makes me feel proud that this os is so polished that if a phone is shipped with this thing i won't care i would just use it like this but now let's just take a look so i have it installed on my redmi note 4 which is officially supported device so it has ot updates for for security patches newer features and then just normal bug fixes so i can freely use this rom as my daily driver but as i told you about the design with android no god this was looking pretty impressive but with android 8.1 it already had the adaptive ui and stuff inside the system so the developers actually had to take a step further in order to make it look beautiful and stand out from another roms well they have actually did something special and we will be taking a look at that but let's start with the ui pixel launcher on the front as you can see beautiful draw down time wallpaper pretty nice touch on the left you have google but if you hold down you will have extra options in the settings so let's just go over there your home screen and stuff so it's a modded version of a pixel launcher which i don't really mind you can also change the app icon pack if you don't like it you can make it stock android or anything like lineage os 15 you have the icon shape let's just set it for circle which is my favorite one then you have other where you can rotate the launcher just like normal stuff as you can see looks much more cleaner scrolling up you have your normal apps well the app icons have been completely updated in this rom but you have few apps changed over here such as gallery contacts and music otherwise all of the apps are pretty much the same such as camera as you can see completely stock clock again bit themed then you have the dot papers which is the official wallpaper app as you can see it has many beautiful wallpapers majority of them are pretty dark to save battery on amoled devices such as oneplus 5 but most of them are pretty funky as you can see then you have categories and stuff like little this is extremely well done hats off to the developers and then you also get a music player which i really like it looks like the apple music as you can see the theme over here you get your normal selection of library then again you have home songs it literally looks like apple music i really like it well coming to the system ui they have deleted the transparency of the notification panel well i really don't mind that as when you have notification it just looks odd so i kind of like this plain ui over here you can add more toggles that you like i have added all of them so i can scroll around but you do get some extra toggles such as the resurrection remix such as partial screenshot picture in picture where you don't need the youtube red subscription for popping up the video then you have nav bar you can just directly enable it over here pretty nice touch then you have partial screenshot for example if you just hold down then the screen becomes dim you can just select the part you want there you go pretty handy feature then you just get the normal stuff such as night light the screen record nothing new in that but now let's just go to the settings where the real magic happens tap it and there you go it looks like android p yeah for theme they have actually picked up to make it like android p and it really does look beautiful to be honest and they have actually adjusted the ui so the search bar is much more bigger just like the android p so they have not just only themed it they have actually readjusted it so again hats off for that this time in android 8.1 it has dot extras and dot ui center separated so let's just take a look at the dot ui center first of all and just look at it it reminds me of the cyanogen mode engine you can scroll it around in order to choose your theme such as light dark black then again your ascent color so let's just set it for dark there you go it will reload once it will not show over here but as you can see the ui is now dark and then the accent color well it's just the same thing that you get in the display but a better ui and then again you can also load custom packages well if you scroll around more or just like this you get extract overlay for wallpaper that means the wallpaper api from android 8.1 then again you can also make your quick settings look as same as your normal accents and then enable brightness one which is a pretty handy feature to be honest and then in dot extras you just get your normal options but even over here the developers have done amazing job in just aligning it so let's just tap over here and there you go you have your each section in cards as you can see looks extremely beautiful so starting with the status but you just get your normal stuff such as icon battery shape and stuff then again miscellaneous traffic indicators just that you get in your normal roms your navigation bar quick settings recent apps panel lock screen system in system you get general tweaks then again buttons app ops which have been just carried on from the kitkat as long as i can remember and then the ram management is also pretty good considering the heavy ui 
and then again going to the system you also have dot os ot over here so you can directly update your device through over here then you also have gestures which doesn't carry much that's like a device specific feature going to the about phone droid on time and then again the latest and the greatest that android has to offer so yeah guys that's pretty much it thanks for watching this was a quick little review of the dot os i hope you guys enjoyed and if you want a full rom review like this on many other devices please let me know in the comment section below and see you in the next one peace